All right, in this video, we're going to talk about charging through reimbursable expenses to your clients. So it's kind of like a one-to-one -one thing for every one hour you are billed for something, you're going to charge it through to the client. Or in the case of construction, for every box of nails you buy on that job, you're going to charge it through to the client. Um, so how to handle reimbursable expenses. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and go to Edit and Preferences down to sales and customers, which is already highlighted here. And then on my preferences here, it gives me a preference for reimbursable expenses, even though it doesn't say anything about it here. So what it's saying is when you have reimbursable expenses, when you're creating an invoice, do you want it to prompt to add time and costs? Do you want it to not add them ever? Or do you want it to ask what to do? Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at ask what to do for now. Um, and then we'll see what that means when we go ahead and create the invoice in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and enter a bill. It's going to be for Perry Windows and Doors, and we're going to have a subcontractor expense, and it's going to be for $150. And the customer will be Cars Pie Shop Remodeling. And then notice here the little billable box. Again, it doesn't say reimbursable expenses, but is this billable to the client? Do you want to create an invoice for this client? So you leave that checked in, checked off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say save and close. Then when I go into the invoices here, I'm going to go back in and choose Cars Pie Shop Remodel. It's time to create an invoice for them. And notice it pops up for me. You have outstanding billable time or costs. Would you like to add that to this invoice? All right. Say OK. Now, if I had any time for employees, that would be in here. That needs to be billed through to this job. I'm going to go to expenses. So here's my Perry window and door expense. I'm going to check that off and I can choose a markup right here if I want to. Uh, so we can go ahead and say markup of 50%, okay, what markup account it want, we want it to go to, so labor income or subcontracted labor income. All right, one thing to note, if you had a whole bunch of uh, different line items in here and you wanted to get rid of them and you wanted to say these really shouldn't be billable, you can come in here and check off hide and then next time you pull up this invoice, that'll this line item will be, won't be there anymore. But for now, I want to go ahead and create the invoice. Notice it gives me the total two down here with expenses. Uh, if I wanted to select as taxable, it give me, a, you know, I could select that it's taxable here. <clears throat> you can also make sure to, um, you can collapse everything. So if you had several line items, again, you could print selected time and cost as one invoice item. So it could just say reimbursed expenses and all the details still there behind the scenes on the expense side, but as far as the customer sees, it's just one flat line item. All right, you can also do mileage, of course, um, which we talk about in another video, and you can get reimbursed for items. Okay, so time, expenses, mileage, items, all of them are going to have that little billable box. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and say okay here. And you can see um, it has a reimbursed group here uh, because we're doing our reimbursed expenses, it has our price, it has our markup, and our total reimbursable expenses. So if we take a print preview on this, okay, it gives you the markup here. But if you were to, when you added this time and costs here, if you were to print select time and costs as one invoice item, it wouldn't give you that breakout detail, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and clear this again, and let's let's do it again without adding that. Okay, select outstanding billable time and cost, expenses here, printed as one line item. We're going to do a markup of 50%. Okay, so now you still see the detail, but when you print it out, one line item. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say save and close on this. 
So that was on an enter bills. I just want to show you real quick uh, on your weekly timesheet. Same thing here. It has that little billable column on your entering bills, but on the items tab, it has that little billable column. And then, of course, when you go up under your vehicle mileage, it has that billable box up here. So check marking those will tell QuickBooks that next time you create an invoice for that client, remind me that we have these outstanding billable costs that we want to bill through to them.